Okay, today we're going to go over how to export the entire global address from your company. Uh, mine's going to be a little different here because I'm not actually connected to one, but the difference is extremely minor. So what we're going to do is start and go to the address book. Uh, presumably in your larger company you're going to see all these users here and maybe you have to scroll down in several pages. Uh, but the same instructions apply. You're going to select the first user, scroll to the end, and then select the last user. You're going to right click. Now, if you're connected to a large uh, company, you're actually going to see one other extra option that's not visible here. It's going to say add to contacts. That's assuming you're actually looking at the global, global address list. But as you can see here, these are just my contacts, so there is no other option. But I guarantee you, if you are in a large company and uh, you're on an exchange system, you're going to have the option here that says add to contacts. So. Once you do that, if you've added more than, say, 20 or 50 users, it's going to take several minutes. So you're going to have to let your computer sit there. It's going to appear to freeze. It'll say uh, Outlook is not responding if you're clicking on it. Just let it sit. Go get some coffee, go to the restroom, take a walk, whatever. Come back, and you should be able to just close out that window and go to your contacts. You're going to go to People and you should have them all sitting in your contacts. If you'd like to separate them out in some way, you can create a new folder and we'll call this Others. I think I have to select where I want to put it. Let's see, Contact Items. Ah, okay, this is just a limitation of the type of account that I have. Don't worry about that. Like I said, slightly different for larger scale users, but you're going to be allowed to create a new folder. You can then highlight in the same way you did before by holding Shift and clicking on both ends and dragging to your new folder. What that'll do is let you uh, separate out the users by type. So uh, what we're going to do here is pretend we've already done that, and we're going to just export everybody in our contacts. I'm going to go to File, and then to Open and Export. I'm going to Export here, and we'll choose Export to a File. I'm going to say Next. I'm going to leave it at Comma Separated Values. That's a, a format that Excel already understands. I'm going to go to Next, and make sure that I've got the correct inbox, and then I'm going to select Contacts, or the folder that I've created ha had I created one. We'll select Next, and we're going to choose where to put the file. I'm going to go ahead and put this under Downloads and call this Exported 2015-03-23. Okay, it's just confirming what I want to do. Now in this case, I'm only exporting the fields that are visible. So if you have anything else that you want to add, I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Okay, so just to finish up the, what we're doing here, there it is. I'm going to open this up in Excel and I've got all the data here how I want it. I can then go to File, Save As, go to Downloads, and change this from CSV, which is comma separated values. It's not really a fully functional workbook yet. And I'll say Save as an Excel workbook. There we go. Now I get all the features of Excel, all the functionality. It's going to change the formatting just a bit, but no big deal. But anyway, so there you go. Um, now if you want a different columns that aren't visible, add them first. So you're going to right click up here, go to Field Chooser, and you can just click and drag. If I want Business Facts to show up, I can add that in. I'm just holding and dragging to that title bar. Okay. So it's pretty much simple, and if you've got a similar setup, you shouldn't have much deviation. In fact, I think the same applies to Outlook 2010. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments.